so from your uh, system did you install mysql either you will be seeing uh, mysql workbench either this you will be seeing this mysql workbench or else you will see mysql command line client you can work in one of these you would have created a user I have created a user called root you can also create a user it's very easy first time when you log into mysql it will ask for the user I gave username as root my password is also root either you can go here to the command uh, line you can code here or else you can come to workbench you can code here what you have to do is uh, this one first one you might not be able to see so it will be like this you have to first create the connection it's very easy you just say connection name that is local right now I'm giving the connection name as local and then say ok now when you try to enter local connection using user root it is asking me for a password that is a password root so these are the first initial few things you need to do so you don't need to remember these steps because these are all one time steps so you open mysql workbench and then try to create a user called root and then enter the password or else you can go to the console and work from there I suggest you have to work from the workbench that is easier okay now let's get started with the class SQL training so what is SQL? SQL means structured query language it's not SQL so we should not pronounce this as SQL that is wrong way of pronouncing it it is actually structured query language or SQL separately for its it's used for creating accessing exploring cleaning analyzing querying doing the lot of analysis or reporting okay SQL is one of the basic programming languages uh, for managing the databases wherever there is a lot of uh, data which is stored in a structured format in the form of databases for managing and for interacting with the databases we use SQL SQL is slightly relatively uh, easy to learn it has uh, very few commands in the whole uh, language and it's uh, easy to code and <coughs> the code structure also very intuitive to learn can everyone hear me I just want to check uh, if there is an issue with the audio Huh? you're not able to hear me okay fine okay so one of the best part about SQL is in the whole language itself there are hardly uh, you know hundred keywords once we know all of them we are almost like masters of SQL so we'll start with what is a database database uh, by the definition it's organized collection of data or simply said uh, database is a, a database contains tables queries schemas views etc or simply if you want to understand for now you can think as there are so many connected tables kept at one place that is nothing but a database so a single database can contain multiple tables and queries what is a query we will see it very uh, I mean in some time right now so what is a table so examples of database uh, a university database contains students uh, database registration uh, tables grades etc then teachers etc sales database contains information or tables or the data about customers products purchases orders and then uh, delivery etc so many uh, tables about different different types of data 
the manufacturing database contains production inventory order supply chain information human resource database definitely contains employee records employee salaries in another table tax deductions in one more table payroll database in one more table pf uh, kind of things in one more table uh, we know amazon's product database uh, product details in one table customer details in one table vendor details in one table banking accounts database there are so many uh, you know examples of database where we can think of each table contains a specific information so what exactly is a table table <coughs> is simply uh, contains rows and columns uh, each row is a record or a data value each column tells us one particular information so it contains homogeneous data of records so here is one example table where it has product code product name product line looks like this is a products uh, table product sales <coughs> vendor quantity stock price msrp this is a simple products table example table i mean till now whatever we have discussed in r table is nothing but a data frame or a data set that we have been discussing dbms what exactly is dbms dbms stands for database management system so basically if you have a database what is a database collection of tables so once you have a database which has many tables inside it we need a software to interact with database how do we query the database how do we get particular information about the database if you have employees uh, hr database how do you get specific uh, employees working in a specific location so to do that to extract that information we need a software to interact with the database so what exactly is database management system it's a software designed for definition defining the database creating the database querying the database updating the database and even administrating the database who should actually query that database not every one should be able to access all the tables only few pe people with few privileged accesses should be able to access some of the some of the tables that are uh, you know they they ca they should see and then uh, we can use sql uh, for all uh, dbms so any database management system we can use structured query language to uh, interact with the database or else we can use uh, jdbc odbc drivers connecting to dbms we can we have a database management system either we can write sql query on top of the database management system or else we can install jdbc odbc drivers and use to uh, use any other software to extract the information that is uh, that we are looking for so that is dbms database management system it's a simply a uh, software for doing the sql queries what is rdbms relational database management system so it's almost similar to dbms it is a dbms that is based on the relationship model okay the tables uh, that are there in the database most of them are connected which have a primary key so you based on the key lot of tables are connected that's why it's called relational database management system it's almost like same exactly as the database management system but the tables are connected you have a product table like this and then you already you also have something like uh, some other uh, place where you'll find customer number who bought this uh, product so or else if you go to orders table then you will find you will also find product code so for a particular order there all the product details are mentioned here let me repeat once again somebody ordered a product called harley davidson ultimate chopper so that is what product code is so in the order you will not find all these details okay in the order you will find it only who bought it when did he buy and what is the price but if you want to know the exact product details then you have to come here and look for the exact product code given the product code these are all the details of that particular product that is gathered from the orders
so what are the famous uh, rdbms softwares there are several softwares to interact with databases or do to to do sql uh, one of the uh, most famous is mysql postgresql and then uh, microsoft sql server microsoft sql server is one of the most famous in terms of uh, paid or commercial softwares mysql is famous open source software uh, oracle ibm db2 there are so many more uh, rdbms softwares today we are going to learn uh, mysql most of the tools the sql coding across any database rdbms software it will be same so sql will be almost same with very few minor changes the software can be different so within sql there are two types of broad functions ddl dml now this is important try to understand here within sql sql is a structured query language within sql there are two broad languages one is ddl the other one is dml ddl stands for data definition language so you are learning sql to create a database from the scratch to create table to give access rights as we discussed earlier not a, who should access what a manager should not access some things an employee should not access some of the tables on the database something like that manage authentication so basically rather than you are worrying about the analysis you are mostly focusing on access rights creating tables creating database that is called data definition language so you are using sql to make sure the data is maintained properly only authenticated people are accessing it tables are created at the in the right format everything that is called data definition language so sql is used for data definition also and then there is one data manipulation language inserting the data querying the data analyzing the data getting particular values from the data all this is called data manipulation language since this is a data analysis course what we are going to focus mostly is on data manipulation language so we will be mostly working on how to query the database if the information is already there how do we query the database how do we run some uh, query to get to extract the exact information that we are looking for so in this course we will mostly focus on data manipulation language we don't really worry about creating tables uh, databases access rights manage authentication this also a great skill in itself but we will majorly focus on data manipulation language so here is how we install a database right now we don't have any before we start querying or before we start any sql queries we have to make sure the database is there somewhere and we have access to it since we are working on our own mysql databases we don't have any database installed with us so right now what i'll try to do is i'll first install it okay this step you don't need to do every time maybe once we will install the database we will take one database then we will work on it maybe while you are working in the production or while you are actually working in a company the database might have been already installed and you will get a database uh, uh authentication id and password you can access the database directly here we don't have the database so i'll try to install it now so i have created the local so while you are doing it you might have your uh, system will be in this phase you will not have any connection so this is a this is the screen that you will find in mysql then you have to create a connection i am creating a connection called local and then say okay now when you try to enter that connection for the user root you need to enter the password you have you might have chosen the password while you are working for the first time in sql and then you have to create the database so i have an sql file which has already creating the database so this file i am going to share with you guys so this is the data set 
that we have to work with mysql sample database so mysql.sql okay so this file is there once you run it all the tables so here are the database schemas so there is one sys and temp models so these two are there already what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a new database here once I execute this code the database will be created because in this code already create database classic model is already there so we are creating a database so this is how we will execute the code so I'm executing the code here is there any issue let me check that I'm refreshing the tables so once I execute the code here I could see classic models a new database being created within this classic models I have the tables called customers employees offices order details orders payments everything created once again I'll delete this I'll drop this schema drop now I'll start from the beginning and I'll execute this code so once I execute this everything will be in green tick mark here so that means it ran correctly it should come here classic models or if it doesn't come you can refresh then the classic models is here so classic models is our new database name ideally when you are working with any SQL database that would have been already created you would have already access to database since we don't have any database created with us we are creating on our own it is very easy you will go here open file you will once you try to open this will open like this and then you just need to run that okay once you execute this code you don't need to do anything you can just close it down you're back to query one which is empty query you have the <coughs> database with you you have the new database you can access to so that is the <coughs> minimum thing that uh, minimum criteria minimum requirement we haven't yet started SQL so this is the first slide on SQL queries here we are officially starting SQL now whatever we have done till now is a prerequisite kind of thing what is a database how do you create a database how do you install MySQL what is MySQL it's a database uh, RDBMS it's a relational database management system and then finally whatever is the system we write SQL queries be it be Oracle or MySQL or any type of SQL engine we are going to write SQL queries now we need to learn SQL queries syntax before I start SQL queries I would like to ask if there are any questions